this project you will learn to make iot based pulse oximeter using node mcu esp8266 module max 30100 oximeter sensor and the blink application in our previous project we have made a compact arduino based pulse oximeter in which pulse rate and spo2 level are shown in oled display but in today's project we can monitor those values from anywhere in the world using blink iot application so to make this iot based pulse oximeter you will need node mcu development board a 0.96 inch ssd 1306 oled display max 30100 pulse oximeter sensor free jumper cables and breadboard the circuit assembly for this iot pulse oximeter is very simple both OLED display and max 30100 oximeter sensor works with I2C bus. So interface the I2C pins, SCL and STA pin of the both modules with D1 and D2 pins of node MCU. Connect the INT pin of oximeter sensor to the D3 pin of node MCU. Similarly provide the 3.3 volt power supply through the VCC and ground the GND pin to the GND pin of the node MCU. Basically you can follow this circuit diagram to make the connection. Now let's set up the Blink application for IoT Pulse Oximeter. Download the Blink application from Play Store and App Store available for both Android and iOS. Sign up with the Blink IoT Cloud using email address and password. Now click on the new project, give your project a name, I am giving IoT Pulse Oximeter. Select the node MCU board and then select the connection type as Wi-Fi. Then finally click on the create button. The Blink authentication token will be sent to your email address and we will need it later on the programming session. Tap on the plus icon on your main screen and add two gauges then we will add two value display widgets. One will show you the BPM values and other will show you the oxygen level SpO2. For BPM, we will select the virtual pin B1 and we will set the value from 0 to 130. You can also set the colors for this cause. Now we will set the display value. We will add same values in the value display because both will act as a same. Now we will do for the oxygen level. Select the virtual pin B2 and we will select the values from 0 to 100 give it some color i am giving blue and set one second as a refresh rate and we will do same settings for value display widget we will select the same virtual pin b2 and same values from 0 to 100 and one second as a refresh rate so that's it the application setup for iot based pulse oximeter is ready now let's move into the programming code once we complete the hardware connection and the blink app configuration we need to upload the iot pulse oximeter source code so these are the libraries file that you need to install in your arduino ide before compiling the code the link of the library file will be provided in the description of this video now connect your ESP8266 node MCU board with your computer and copy this source code in your Arduino ID. Now we will enter the authentication token sent to you by the Blink while configuring the application. Now here we will enter our network credential as Wi-Fi SSID and password. Finally select the board as a node MCU ESP2 LED board and select the COM port and simply upload the code. So after successful upload of this program, the project is just place your finger in the sensor and it will display the values of a pulse rate and oxygen level in your body. Similarly, you can view these values in the display as well as on the smartphone using Blink application. So you can monitor your BPM and SpO2 values from anywhere in the world using this Blink IoT cloud. So that's all about IoT based pulse oximeter using MAX30100 sensor and ESP8266 node MCU board. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you soon on the next video.